Dragon Ball Z movie for Super Saiyan Son Goku, also known as Lord Slug in America, is disliked by many fans uh, because the main antagonist is pr pretty much similar to King Piccolo. Uh, both have demonic henchmen, both are Namekians that are evil, both uh, use the Dragon Balls to re become young again and regain lost power. And Lord Slug doesn't seem to have many features uh, unique from other m villains or make him really memorable. But uh, he has motivation unique to him, which we will get to talk later. Um, at the start of the movie, Slug and, and his men uh, invade Earth and use a machine to shield the planet from sunlight. And those creating an environment uh, where the dem demonic aliens can flourish. Uh, this plan also has a side effect for the planet inhabited, uh, which many succumb to the cult created by the change. In other words, uh, the movie does a good job displaying the destruction caused by Lord Slug's arrival. And this movie also has some really good action scenes, which are really brutal. Uh, and even some of the <laughs> good guys do some crazy stuff. For example, Goku would uh, release an energy blast to counter that uh, one of an opponent and blast that blast back to it inside his mouth. As uh, there are also sev several scenes where somebody's ankle gets broken, which is really terrifying. Also, the setting is used very well to show tragedy. For instance, uh, there's a scene where the fight moves into a theme park, which normally is associated with uh, people's happiness and stuff. And because of the invasion, it's dark and lifeless. The fight against Lord Slug is also really entertaining because he uses the Namekian abilities to uh, full advantage, especially when he turns into a giant. There are also very creative ways how Goku and Piccolo fight instead of um, charging into random body parts like it's usual when you fight a giant villain in Dragon Ball, <coughs> which is why many uh, giant fights uh, are really forgettable in Dragon Ball. Uh, Piccolo also uses his Namekian knowledge to good advantage, like Namekians have good hearing, which you would associate with uh, a positive, but Piccolo uses that as a weak, turns it around into a weakness. If you watch the movie, you will get what I mean. <coughs> Lastly, the false Super Saiyan form, which many consider underwhelming or bad. And it, it did came out of nowhere and considering we have so many forms now it feels like an un another pointless transformation. In terms of release, when it it came out before the regular Super Saiyan and it's a form that only stays uh, while you are enraged <coughs> and feels no dip it on the surface level it looks like a golden Kaioken, but then again when Goku transforms he's really aggressive like a regular Super Saiyan we did know and love. However, it does seem more powerful than the forms you see in Dragon Ball Super. Uh, I don't mean it has more destructive feats, I mean in terms of how it overwhelms the opponent. Uh, the characters in the movie are also used well, while many, uh, in many other movies it feels like there's filler content when characters fight, in this movie it doesn't feel like it. Um, since many are affected by the change, so they have to get involved in one way or another. Uh, and Goku, uh, Gohan and Piccolo were crucial to beat Slug while Goku did the heavy lifting, like always. Lord Slug doesn't feel like 
he deserves the power he has. He's just a uh, Super Namekian, apparently, <clears throat> which feels like a rip off of Super Saiyan, uh, just without the deep lore. But then again, it did foreshadow the Super Namekian in the manga, so. It was still not really memorable, but not. It wasn't really bad, to, to say the least. As I mentioned, Slug has motivation. Uh, besides regaining his youth, which uh, came as a bonus when he randomly found a Dragon Ball. Uh, the real reason uh, Slug came to, uh, to invade Earth was to turn it into an utopia for him and his men. And he did succeed with that goal, <coughs> which is uh, rare for Dragon Ball villains. There were uh, also obvious issues like and um, Goku used the same technique he used prior to defeat uh, bad guys in these types of movies. Piccolo uh, returning for a traditional Gohan safe moment. Not as every Trages, but uh, since it's just the third time, but still. It will happen also more often, so it's not the unique to this movie. Oh well, I think this movie is better than I remembered it to be. Uh, the name is kind of false advertisement since it's not the Super Saiyan you wanted to see. Uh, but it's a toy interpretation what the Super Saiyan is supposed to be. If you are a Piccolo fan, this movie is really something you will love. Because he is not only useful, but because it took place in a time where Piccolo was really aggressive and honestly evil, uh, he has some really good fighting scenes. And he is not a nanny of the Son <laughs> before he became the nanny of the Son family. On it. So enjoy it while you can, so to speak. Mm. Action is good with fluid animation and the Japanese soundtrack is really great at setting the mood as well. Uh, there's also scenes where there is no music and it kinda makes it feel intense and some scenes where it didn't feature it. And not the best Dragon Ball movie and it doesn't really stand out but it is still a really enjoyable experience. <laughs>